Pete Snell was a very popular race car driver who died in a slow rollover collision in 1956 from a massive head injury. We feel that this could have been easily preventable by using a state-of-the-art helmet of today. The Snell Memorial Foundation is a not-for-profit foundation dedicated to scientific research, standards development, helmet testing, and public awareness and education. There are a lot of motorsports enthusiasts on the road that rely on their helmets to protect their heads. Uh, we feel the best way to identify the helmets that really do a good job is by lots of stringent testing. One of the tests that Snell performs is the helmet impact test. We mount a helmet on a head form instrumented with an accelerometer. We then drop this head form on one of various shaped steel anvils simulating different impact surfaces. If at any time during the impact the helmet experiences more than 300 peak Gs, the helmet fails the test. We use digital I.O. to initiate the drop sequence. As the helmet is falling, a sensor passes through a velocity gate and we use the counter timer function to measure how fast our helmet is falling, which is prior to impact. This also triggers the data acquisition system, which measures the acceleration that the head feels during the impact. The work that Snell has been able to do with the help of National Instruments helps us to honor Pete Snell in the very best way possible by keeping other motorsports enthusiasts alive to race another day. Mm-hmm.